Have you ever experienced something unexplainable in your home? Picture this. A few years ago, a person moved into a one-bedroom apartment in Melbourne, Australia. A new chapter in their life, their first time living alone in an apartment block with a history dating back to the 1930s. A few months into their stay, they came home from work one day to a peculiar sight. A wooden board, once covering a hole to a small attic space, lay fractured in two pieces on the bathroom floor. This board was no ordinary piece of plywood, it was an inch thick, the kind of board that would have taken a martial arts master to break. With an eerie suspicion that someone had been in their apartment, they contacted the landlord, only to discover that the previous tenants had reported the same mysterious occurrence. The landlord replaced the board, but that was far from the end of the strange happenings in this apartment. Fast forward a month, and our tenant wakes up in the dead of night, skin prickling with goosebumps, as if someone was running their hands over them. The apartment was silent, except for a dragging sound coming from above, like a sack of potatoes being pulled across the floor. The tenant mustered up the courage to investigate, only to find the new board broken in two, just like before. But this time, there was more than just a sound, there was whispering, clear as day, emanating from the attic. Children's voices repeating one chilling sentence over and over, it's your turn, it's your turn. In an attempt to restore normalcy, they switched on every light in the apartment, only to have a fuse blow moments later. Their pet budgie, usually silent at this hour, began to squawk as if in distress. The tenant fled their apartment seeking refuge in their car until the break of dawn. Upon returning they found the front door open and their pet budgie missing from its cage. After a frantic search they found the bird half-drowned in the toilet. After sharing a watered-down version of the night's events with the landlord, they received a disturbing reply. Oh wow, you heard the whispering too. Despite the terrifying experiences they stayed in that apartment for another year and a half, during which the whispering voices and the moving board made a few more appearances. Now living elsewhere, they recently received a call from the landlord, with a request from the new tenants to discuss the strange happenings in the apartment. But they've washed their hands off it. It's no longer their problem. A chilling tale, isn't it? A reminder that sometimes, the past echoes in the present in the most unsettling ways. And sometimes the things that go bump in the night are more than just the wind.